welcome back in this short course. Now, we are going to write some of the augmentations for the training set and the validation set. And augmentation brings variety in the data set. So, in this task, we are going to use a package called Albumentations for Data Augmentation. The good thing about augmentation is in the Albumentations library, we have so many type of augmentations for key point, for key point data set, for object detection data set, for classification data set, and for the segmentation data set. Now, if you are applying the augmentation for segmentation data set for the first time, here's the thing. For classification tasks, we usually apply augmentation on the images. And we do not apply any type of augmentation on labels. For example, if uh, the image rotates at 45 degree, there is not going to be any effect on the label. For the segmentation data set, the scenario is different. For example, if your training image rotates at 45 degree, then its ground truth image that is a mask will also root it at 45. So in the segmentation data set, whenever some augmentation applies on the images, its mask will also have the same effect. Now let's start this by importing albumentations. So import albumentations as a... Okay, let's run this up. Now define get train augs, return a dot compose in which we are going to pass the list of augmentations. So let's start with resize. Now we are going to do the same for the validation or the test augmentations. Now for that, we do not want to apply any type of augmentation. Only resize is enough because this augmentation is going to be useful during the inference. So well it works. Okay, let's run this up. Both of this function are going to be very useful in the section 4 when we will create our custom D, does it? So custom data set is going to be nothing. But in the last task, we have extracted the part image part and the mask path when given an index. And then we've used both of these, those parts, to read the images and we have plotted the images, so we are going to do this same, but in the class and method format. Okay, in this section, we have successfully write the augmentation. And in the next section, we are gonna write the custom data set. See you in the next video. Goodbye.